Good morning, everyone. Um, we're looking at uh, Psalm 40 today, and we're going to actually look at it over uh, three days again, not because it's uh, particularly long, but because there's so much in this psalm, and um, it, uh, I think, probably is one of my favourites, actually. Uh, and, and we want to take time to really discover what's going on in it. Um, so let me read it to you. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. And then I said, Behold, I have come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. Behold, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. As for you, O Lord, you will not restrain your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever preserve me, for evils have encompassed me beyond number. My iniquities have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head. My heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and disappointed altogether who seek to snatch away my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonour who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha! Aha! But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. I say we're going to spend three days in this psalm and when you see it in the, in the place that it has in the Psalter in the book of Psalms, uh, and you see it following on from the last three psalms that we've looked at, Psalms 37 to 39, which are dark psalms, which are psalms where we talked about them being so grounded in reality, <clears throat> in the reality of, of the hardships of life, and yet still focused on God. And here in Psalm 40, uh, the light finally breaks, the dawn finally breaks, and it is glorious as it does that. At the beginning, we're told, I've waited patiently for the Lord. Uh, the way that the, the Hebrew Bible puts it, it's like the, the word waited is repeated. I, I, I double waited for the Lord. This waiting was something which was focused on God. I was constantly looking to him, the psalmist is saying. I was constantly hoping in him, uh, even through all of the tough times. Uh, it is a favorite psalm of mine. And it's one that um, I, I heard in a different way, I guess, whenever I was a teenager, because um, it's uh, a psalm which has also inspired a, a song by U2 way, way back at the beginning of the 80s, uh, a song called 40, um, which simply uh, repeats this idea of waiting patiently for the Lord <coughs> and uh, this new song that we're given to sing. And it may be as well that this is a psalm for return to church. We've been waiting patiently uh, throughout this time. We've been waiting patiently uh, for the right time to return to church for us. And we're drawing near to that time now. And, and, and so we're looking forward to what God will do. But before we look forward, the psalmist is encouraging us to look back, to look at all that God has done for us. The wait, depending on what we're going through in our circumstances at the moment, the wait may seem long, may seem painful, even excruciating. 
it may seem never ending. What the psalmist is saying here, especially in the light of the previous three psalms, is keep focused on God throughout that period, throughout that darkness, throughout that difficulty. Keep focused on God because he has lifted you up from the pit in the past. He has lifted you from the miry clay, from the bog. He has brought you to a place of security and safety in Christ. So the, the, uh, the sins that drag you down, the guilt that, that, that kept you from, uh, from having a firm footing in life, that's been taken away. And you have security and you have safety in Christ. And that security and safety should lead to song. Uh, to a song of praise, a new song in your mouth. A song of, of witness as you look up to God. Having looked back at what he's done for you, looking up to him. Uh, and directing others to do the same. Directing others to put their trust in God. Being able to say to people, Yes, my God is trustworthy. Yes, my God will come through. Yes, we can rely on him. The wondrous deeds that he has done for us, the psalmist says, have been multiplied again and again and again. We have received, as John says in his gospel, blessing upon blessing upon blessing from God. One of the hymn writers says, we are ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven. We can add to that, we're adopted, we're kept, we're loved, and the blessings go on and on because of who our God is and because of his faithfulness to us. So we can be confident in him. We can wait on him knowing that he will come through for us. And if today uh, you are unsure or uncertain about the future, I know that today uh, is results day for a lot of uh, teenagers and the same will happen next week again with with GCSE results if you're unsure and uncertain about the future look back if you're a child of God look back on what he's already done for you in Christ then look up to him recognize who he is put your hope and your trust in him and wait for him trust that you know God's blessing and God's peace today God bless